Hey guys, welcome to today's video. We are here for another Pass Grab or Undecided. If you're new to my channel or new to my Pass Grab or Undecided series, this is my take on Samantha March's Will I Buy It? We are here to talk some new makeup releases, my thoughts on them. Are there items I want to pass on? They're not for me. Do I want to grab them or am I a little bit undecided? And if you are new here, hello and welcome. My name is Kelly and I love all things makeup and beauty. I love talking. I love makeup. I love talking about makeup. So if you like to chat about makeup too, I would love to have you subscribe and be part of the Kate Bella fam. But why don't we go ahead and jump into some new releases. If you do like videos like this, I typically post on Mondays, but because of the Ulta 21 Days of Beauty sale, I had to push this until Wednesday, and I've kind of been doing every other week because the releases haven't really been jumping out at me lately, but if you like these type of videos, you can subscribe. I do post them pretty regularly, but the first release that I want to chat about is one that I know a lot of people are super excited about, and it is the Pastel Palette from Natasha Denona. Now, I'm not sure when it's coming to the U.S. I'm looking on the Trend Mood 1 Instagram page, and it's available now in Europe, but this also was posted at the beginning of March, so I, I'm not sure when it's coming to the U.S., but there are 15 shades. They're all like spring pastel-y shades. It looks like we have some mattes, metallics, and a multi-chrome. It says one, vibrant, transparent multi-chrome, multi and so I think it's that Second Shadow Illusion. Looks like that one's the multi-chrome. I love Natasha Denona. I have the Glam Palette. I have the Retro Palette. I think her formula is great, but this palette, this color story, is not for me. As you can tell by my makeup today, I am a neutral lover. This is like a green-ish type of shadow that's like as wild as I get. I don't really wear pastel-y type of shades, and if I were to reach into a pastel type of shade, I would just go into my Glam Light Ice Cream Dream palette. So this does not excite me. However, if you're into color, I really like her formula. I think her palettes are great, and I think the quality will be there. You just have to be into the pastels. Now this product has already released from Danessa Myricks. It's the Yummy Skin Collection. So there is a serum, and a foundation. Now I have seen a few reviews on this. I've heard kind of some mixed reviews. I know that a lot of people are not excited about the applicator. The applicator, I, okay sorry, I got distracted. My daughter's in the room with me, not sure where I left off. But I know some people are not excited about the applicator because it's not even like a squeezy tube, I don't think, but it has like a squeezy tube type of applicator. I don't think I'm gonna pick this up. I'm not. I'm trying to keep like my face products to a minimum. Things like foundations, concealers, primers, I wanna keep those to a minimum so that I'm, I'm actually using them before they go bad. And so this one just doesn't get me super excited. So I think I'm gonna pass over this. I know my friend Kara C actually had a reaction to it. She thinks it was a reaction to the foundation and not the primer, but I would love to know your thoughts. Are you guys excited about this? I know Danessa Myricks is an up and coming brand, so I know a lot of people are just really excited to see what she's putting out in general. So let me know down below if you picked this up and what you think about it, but I'm gonna pass on it. NARS released their new summer 2022 collection. They have a blush and bronzer duo with Casino and their blush, you know, the popular one. And then there is also the same blush and Laguna bronzer. So the typical two that they put together, you can get that in a face palette with the summer packaging. There's also a lip mask and a summer unrated eyeshadow palette. Now I tried out NARS eyeshadows for the first time with the Climax palette. I really enjoy the formula. I think it's great quality. I love the shades. However, this palette just isn't speaking to me. I'm not like against it. I don't think it looks boring or dull by any means and I do really enjoy the formula, but I'm kind of at a place where if it's not speaking to me or exciting me, I don't really need to add it to my collection. So this will be a pass as well. ColourPop released their Limelight collection. I know a lot of people felt like this looked similar to the Tinkerbell collection and I have to say, 
I never picked up the Tinkerbell palette. I actually regret not picking it up. I went on the ColourPop website and tried to order the Tinkerbell palette when I saw this one. It's no longer around, but they have their Limelight palette, the Jelly Much eyeshadows, and two color sticks. I think I'm leaning toward a pass. I know the Limelight palette Although it looks similar to the Tinkerbell, I've heard people say that it's not really a dupe and there are some differences. And it is greens, I'm into the greens, but I have some other green eyeshadow palettes so I don't think I need to get this one and I don't think getting this would fill the, the fact that I regret not getting the Tinkerbell palette. I think ColourPop has great eyeshadows. I haven't tried the Jelly Mudge formula. I don't think I would be a fan. And I know a lot of people like their color sticks, but I just, again, I'm not feeling like drawn to it. I'm not feeling like I need to purchase it, so I'm going to pass over this one too. We have a little sneak peek to a new Pillow Talk family member for Charlotte Tilbury. And it's an all-over glow highlighter in Romance Light. It just says coming soon. This was a sneak peek. It looks like a highlighter that has like different like different shades. You know how the blushes, there's like an inside ring and an outside ring? That's what this looks like, and I'm guessing you would probably just like mix it all together. It could even be a beautiful blush, like if you mix into the deeper side and then the lighter side for a highlight. I'm undecided about this. Do I need another highlighter? No. I don't think Charlotte Tilbury highlighter formula is my favorite, but I feel like this could be a nice sheen of a blush. I just, I need more information. You know, like, this sneak peek is great. I'm into the pillow talk, but I need more. I need a little bit more before I can decide. I think I would be interested in trying this when I'm not pregnant. It is the Tatcha Clarifying Clay Mask. So it's an exfoliating pore treatment, a three minute clay mask, and it's supposed to exfoliate the dead skin, kind of clear out your pores, absorb excess oil and dirt. It also, has hyaluronic acid, so it's supposed to be moisturizing. This is $70, coming soon. Like I said, it sounds good. I haven't really taken to masking since I had my daughter, but I wanna get into masking again. I feel like I've always kind of been a fan of clay masks. I like them. I think it would be nice to have an exfoliating clay mask to, to kind of get the dry, dead skin off, because I do have dry skin, but also the hyaluronic acid for hydration. So I don't really want to test out new things or products like this while I'm pregnant, but perhaps after my son comes, this will be something that I try out to pamper myself. Okay, I'm kind of undecided about these as well. So they are new for the cheeks, a cheeky tint blush stick by Huda Beauty. Now I know my friend Molly from Makeup Molly posted a review on these and she's kind of why I'm like, nah, I'm a little undecided. She used them on the lips and the cheeks. She showed that they're super pigmented and super blendable. And I, I have dry skin. I want to love cream products. I want to love cream blushes, cream bronzers, but I just, I haven't found any that I really try to use over my powder products. So that's why I'm like, should I spend the $25, try one of these, maybe like the nude shade or like the peachy shade and like give it a shot and see what I think? Or should I just like, give it a rest. Like, Kelly, you're not going to be into it. Give it a rest. So I'm a little undecided. Let me know your thoughts down below. Are you going to pick it up? Should I give it a try? What do you think? I don't know. I think I like this packaging more than anything. It's the Givenchy New Rose Perfect Liquid. It says liquid. A marble liquid balm. So skincare ingredients for smooth, shiny, plump lips in six shades. Now it says that it's a balm, so I'm guessing... Yeah, when I look at the swatches, it looks more like a gloss. So I think the marble packaging looks great. I don't see a price or anything. I'm not huge into glosses, so I should pass over this. Although I'm like, ooh, it's swirly, it's marbly, it's shiny, it's pretty, I want it. But I'm just not into glosses, so I, I need to pass. Give Me Glow Cosmetics released their Two Moods eyeshadow palette. So Bad Mood which I think is the deeper, vampier, like mauve purples and some deeper nudes. And then Good Mood, which is more of like the lighter, you have like lighter nudes, some peachy shades. This is $64 and there are four quads in one. They also said there are magnetic pans. So if you have some of their other shadows or if you just wanna move them around, you can go ahead and do that. I have not tried Give Me Glow. This definitely caught my eye and it definitely looks interesting. However, 
for $64. I don't think this is the palette that's going to get me to try Give Me Glow. I feel like I can replicate these shadows in my collection, and I feel like from what I've seen of different reviews, their shimmers are kind of hit or miss. So I think the packaging is great. I really like it. I like the concept, but overall I'm going to pass. Last up is the new They're Real Extreme Precision Liner. It is a precision waterproof liner from Benefit Cosmetics that has the tapered brush tip to draw thin and thick lines for different looks. Waterproof, smudge proof, long wearing with a satin finish in black and brown. If I was still wearing liquid liners, this is probably something that I would try out. However, I, I cannot even tell you the last time that I've done a wing. And I don't really wear false eyelashes anymore. When I did wear falsies, I would go in with like a black liner first, the false lash on and cover up the band. But because I just don't wear liquid liner, I kind of go for more like natural, quick and easy makeup. So um, yeah, this is gonna be a pass for me, but I'm, I might be willing to try that out if I get back into liquid liner. Okay, we are going to go ahead and stop here. I know this was a quick one. I know there were some releases I skimmed over. So if you're excited about something I haven't talked about yet, I would love to know your thoughts in the comments down below. But my daughter's one and running wild over there. So I am going to go ahead and play with her. We have some fun stuff planned because this is my spring break week. And my husband's going out of town and my mom's out of town. So it's her and I. So, I'm going to go play with her. If you enjoyed this video, please go ahead and give it a thumbs up. Make sure you're subscribed before you go. That way I can see you in the next one. Thanks for watching. Bye.